I've been using small rig lights in my YouTube studio for about three years, if not longer already. I have one as my key light and one that usually shines in the background and it's in the corner today. Now, when I first started looking at lights to replace my super cheap, super bad lights that I had before these, small rig was not even on my radar. But after three years of flawless performance, I can't imagine a better purchase for your money. Now, in today's video, I'm checking out a brand new light. This is the Small Rig RC60B, and this is a very color accurate, compact, lightweight, built in battery light that has a lot of great features. And if you're out and about, if you're going on the go and you want a light that's powerful and that you don't have to worry about cables with you, this is pretty hard to beat. The RC60B comes in a nice zippered case with padding that protects each element inside. Besides the light, there is a compact reflector, a handle, a battery mount for the back of the light, an adapter for a light stand, and two USB-C cables for charging. But let's take a closer look at the light itself. This is very small for a Cobb LED light. I thought that my RC220D was small when I got it at first, but this is much smaller. Weight is about a pound and a half or 678 grams. Construction is mostly plastic with bits of metal here and there. The LED unit is on the front, around which is a proprietary mini Bowens type mount, but it's not actually a mini Bowens. It's Small Rig's own thing, with a little release latch on the top. The top of the light just has vents and a fan that you can see, and some heat sink. This side just has 60 watt and RC60B branding. The bottom has more ventilation slots and a metal tripod mount. The back has an eco button a USB-C port, and an on-off switch, which for me is 1,000 times better than a button. And then this side has all of the goodies, a color 1.3-inch LCD screen that displays color temperature, intensity, and battery level, two knobs that also click to quickly change settings, a little mode button below the screen that cycles through the various effects, and you can change the frequency, intensity, and color temperature of these effects if you choose to use them. Now, the main highlight of this light is that it's completely wireless. If you are shooting in a back alley, for example, that doesn't have an outlet and you don't want to carry V-mount batteries with you, you just want something that's compact, lightweight, you can stick on literally the cheapest, flimsiest light stand that you can ever imagine. This is the perfect thing that will do it. You can mount this up and literally put it anywhere. At 100% power, you get 45 minutes of runtime and an eco mode, which seems to dim the light a little bit and slow down the fan, you get 75 minutes, which is a lot. If you absolutely need more, you can use a power bank to power this light and even charge it while powering it if your bank has enough output. The other nice thing about this screen is that it will tell you how many minutes of power you have left at the current output level. So for example, using this light at 1% in eco mode, it shows me I have almost six hours of battery life. There are a lot of larger, powerful, corded cob lights out there on the market. And really on the other side of the spectrum, you could say that you have these mini LED type panels, which are nowhere near as powerful, but they are definitely compact. Now this small rig 60B really fits in somewhere in the middle between these two options because it gives you the power that you get from these big guys and the portability and the built-in battery of these small panels. The second highlight of this RC60B is the color rendering. You can adjust color temperature from 2700K to 6500K, and at 100% power, you will get up to 11,200 lux with the reflector at one meter, which is super bright. CRI reaches 97 plus, TLCI is 98 plus, and SSI average is over 89. It's a flicker-free light at whatever temperature that you choose. Next, I have to talk about about the fan, which is pretty quiet, but if you put it close to a microphone in a shot setup, you will still hear it.
And unlike some other larger lights, this RC60B does not have a fanless or a silent mode. As soon as you turn it on, the fan turns on. Even if that's at 1% intensity, the fan still works. Funny enough, even when you charge it, the fan works, which I suppose is a great thing for protecting the longevity of that built-in battery. I measured the fan at roughly 27 decibels in normal mode and 24 decibels in eco mode. Eco mode is great if you want to keep those noise levels down. Unlike other small LED lights out there, this RC60B does not seem to ramp up the fan speed if you crank it to 100%, so that's a bit of a win. Whether you're at 1% or 100%, this light produces the same 27 decibels of fan noise. So what are the shortcomings of this light? There aren't many, but there are a few things that you do need to be aware of. First is that fan noise. Now this is not a super loud fan, but again, it does emit a noise and it's nowhere near silent. That's one of the things that I wish that they would have included with this light is a silent or a fanless mode at let's say up to 10% power or something like that. That would have been a cool addition. If you do need absolute silence because your light source is close to a microphone, a light like the RC220B can do this as long as your intensity stays below that heat threshold. For example, my key light is completely silent because I use it at 6% and even when I'm doing these videos and recording for 45 minutes because I keep messing up and having to cut around and fix and re-say what I'm trying to say, it still is silent, the fan never kicks on. The second thing you need to be aware of is that there aren't that many accessories out for this light as of yet. Now, I should mention that Small Rig did send me this compact softbox, which is pretty nice, it's well made, and it has a diffusion film on it, and it has a grid as well, and it comes with a nice little carrying pouch, and it collapses. Yes, like that. Pretty intense kind of pops. So yeah, you could wrap this up, take the bag, jam it in there, and there you go. You have a compact softbox if you need it. But let's say you want a light dome or some other parabolic softbox, or if you want to use a giant beauty dish like what I'm using in my YouTube setup, you can't really do that with this light as of yet. They need to develop some sort of proprietary small rig to Bowen's mount adapter again, which isn't out, but maybe they will develop that in the future. The third thing with this light is that the battery is obviously, as you can tell, not user replaceable. So if you need a light that's gonna run, let's say for two or three hours or four hours for a shoot, then you need to figure out an alternate way to power this thing. And while the long USB-C cable is very nice for this, because you can plug it in, you still need to get the brick and the power adapter and all of that separately. Small Rig does sell an accessory, but again, it doesn't come with this kit. And the last thing that I wanna say is I really want to see an RGB version of this light because it would be epic and I would replace all of my background lights with a pair of these if that ever came out. Even so, these are going to be a great addition to my lighting gear. They are versatile, portable, and with the case, it's one of those lights that you can leave in your trunk just in case you need it and whip it out and spice up your footage every now and then. So these are currently for sale and they start shipping around the 20th of January this month. So if you are interested in checking them out and checking out pricing, use that link down in the description. Right now, as of the date of this video, these are 199 US, which I think is pretty solid for the set of features that you get with the case and all the accessories. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all of your comments, all of your likes and your support. Stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.